Hello everyone! In late April of this year, I'll be taking part in Swimathon 2024, and I need your help. Swimathon is an annual challenge where swimmers of all ages and abilities raise cash towards Cancer Research UK and Marie Curie, and at the same time, completing a swimming challenge. As someone who was traumatised by swimming as a child, I recently started swimming as a 40-year-old adult in January of this year. I have a medical condition called costochondritis, which not only affects my quality of life, but also affects my whole body. Coupled with arthritis and other musculoskeletal issues, this is definitely going to be a hard challenge for me to achieve. My challenge is simply to swim 100 meters unaided. This might not seem like a lot, but at the time of recording this video, I'm only halfway there and believe you me, it will take every ounce of my being to complete this. I'm looking to raise £100, and if you're watching this in a live stream, click the link in the top of the chat, or if you're watching it on social media, just click the link attached to this video. Every donation will help me not only contribute towards an amazing cause, but also give me motivation to complete this fantastic challenge. And get a medal. Thanks for helping. Goodbye. Hello everyone, welcome to the stream. It's our final time at Cincinnati and guess what guys? It's sunset. It's sunset. And the sun isn't even like nowhere near the horizon to be honest. It's still quite high in the sky, but it's uh, definitely getting lower. The colours are changing. We've got the lights on, on the runway. It's going to be a glorious, glorious sunset. So very, very excited uh, for our sunset stream. It's going to be very, very dark here. Uh, I did have a little peek ahead. Uh, by the end of the stream, it will be pitch black. In fact, it will be pitch black halfway through the stream, let alone towards the end. Uh, it's been a while since we've had a sunset stream. So uh, very, very excited for the next couple of hours. Hello, Risama. Hello, Locke. Harry. Clear to crash. Shut up. Uh, K M C O N. As soon as I get a code, <laughs> basically, as soon as I get a code. Um, so it may be um, we play Orlando tomorrow. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Energist Design did release a new airport earlier on, Orlando, Florida. So uh, that's quite good timing, really. So if I get a code today. Um, we'll be playing it tomorrow, and if I don't get a code today, well, we won't be playing it tomorrow. And if I have to buy it myself, we definitely won't be playing it tomorrow, because I'm absolutely skint right now. So, uh, hopefully that code will come through. I have asked for it, um, so, uh, we'll see what happens, eh? Right, so, let's get follow mode on. Let's get that on. We've got a couple of planes to stat us off today. Let's just see if follow mode's actually working first. Want to see a flight 2826? No, nope. let's press that button. Try again. Oh, there we go. It's working now. Right, you guys ready? Here we go. Frontier flight 2826, pushback approved. Expect runway 36 right. Our final, oh, final stream in Cincinnati. Right. We've gone all Push the way around the clock, guys. So it's quite Frontier sad. If we don't have Orlando tomorrow, I might be doing a European airport. So we'll see. We'll just see what happens. Endeavour 5178, pushback approved, expect runway 36 right. We'll see what happens. It is Be Bad Friday tomorrow, so, you know, I, I might be bad, but I might not be bad. Giant 3610, runway 36 centre, clear to land. Look at that, isn't that beautiful scenery? And our first plane is somewhere over there, coming in soon. Quite a few planes coming in, actually. I'm surprised we can't see Oh, there we go, I can see him. I can see him. It's just a little, a little pixel on the horizon, but it should be quite a spectacular uh, landing um, when they do come through. Cincinnati Tower, Euro one European one airport Romeo would be cool too. Yeah, if I get the code for Orlando, it will definitely be Orlando because you know I play the newest airport um, at all times. Just waiting for the big boss 
to see my message and um, give me a code. So uh, hopefully that'll happen for tomorrow. But meanwhile, we do have this beautiful, beautiful sunset stream to enjoy and hopefully no crashes. LSZH, yes. In fact, there's very few I don't enjoy. There's a few I wish that were busier, but I do like pretty much all of them, to be honest, some more than others. Cincinnati ground, Frontier Flight 2826 ready to taxi. Let's get back. Frontier Flight 2826, continue taxi. There you are. Get yourself going before it gets too Frontier dark, bro. The Endeavour should be ready in a moment as well, because they push back pretty much at the same time. Ground. There we go. Endeavour 5178, ready to taxi. Endeavour 5178, continue taxi. Off you go, good continue sir. Taxi. Endeavour 5178. Right, shall we watch our first landing? It's going to be Giant 3610. Giant 3610. There you go. That big bright light. And it's live weather as well. I know it's not dark in Cincinnati right now, but it's live weather. So, you know, we've got nice clear skies right now, which is good. Uh, Locke says, I have to create custom schedules to make them busier. Yes, I have actually dabbled in custom schedules. For example, I made one for St. Thomas's Island with British Airways, EasyJet, Ryanair, and Jet2.com. Uh, you know, UK Airlines, um, which I love Cincinnati and adore. So, um, hotel. exactly quite, just start. felt really strange playing St. Thomas off stream with all these British um, airlines. But, you know, cool as well. Okay. November 119, Romeo Foxtrot, runway 36 center, clear to land. That's our next landing there. Runway 36 center, clear to land. November 119, Romeo Foxtrot. Thank you. Cincinnati Tower, oh. Endeavour 5081 on Oh, while we're here, okay. Center. Endeavour 5081, runway 36 center, clear to land. Thank you. Runway 36 center, clear to land. Endeavour 5081. Endeavour 5398, pushback approved. Expect runway 36 right. Ground. Runway 36 right. Let's see what's going on room. here. Endeavour 5398. Okay, that's fine. Giant 3610. Taxi to ramp across runway 27. Taxi to ramp across runway 27. Thank Giant you. Giant 3610. Alright. Uh, looks like we've got a private plane coming in. Um, November 119 and Romeo Foxtrot. Private plane, I think. Uh, we'll just stay here for the moment and see. Um, I imagine it's going to be an itsy bitsy little one. Um, let's see. I did KCVG with 200 movements per hour using only runway 27. And I have planes waiting for takeoff. Do you know what? I don't doubt it at all. Runway 27 as well. Wow. I've not even used runway 27 once. Except just, you know, cross it. Like... I'm not very good making custom schedules. It takes me a long time. But uh, I, I am happy to play them. I just look at the Discord sometimes to see if somebody posts one. Welcome, sir. Good that you're landing. So you're a very small plane landing at a very big airport. And it's like nearly night time. Okay, didn't I have a thingy set up? Uh, there we go. A nice camera angle set up for landings. Okie dokie. Um, let's have a little look. Ground, Endeavour 5398, continue taxi. taxi. I said that at just the right continue time. Taxi. Holy crap. Five, There's an, uh, is it Abex Air? I think it's Abex Air. Or Abex Air. Abex Air, 599er, pushback, oh wait, he's a heavy, he's a heavy, better say that again. Abex Air, 599er, heavy, pushback approved, expect runway, 36 right. There you go, sir. Round, runway 36 right, pushback approved. Mm -hmm. Abex Air, 599 heavy. November 119er, Romeo Foxtrot. Uh, where are you coming off? Oh, that's fine. November 119er, Romeo Foxtrot, taxi to ramp. Taxi to 
Right. We're going to have a cinematic landing for um, our next landing. We'll go over here. Is it F8 or F9? I think it's F9 for landings. Right, there he is, over there. We'll, we'll, we'll watch the landing from this vantage point. I quite like this angle, actually. I think it's quite cool. We're on full magnification. This is um, Endeavour 5081 coming into land. <clears throat> Look at the uh, landing light on the uh, ground as well. That's pretty sick. Not even going to lie. Wow. Pretty cool, right, guys? I do like that angle so much. We've got one for takeoffs as well, but it's not very accurate. But I might try. Um, maybe we can try with this one. Who is this? This is Frontier Flight. Look at that sun. Oh, we got another one waiting. Who's that? Who is that? How did you get there first? It's Endeavour. Okay, okay. Right. Endeavour 5178, runway 36 right, line up and wait. Runway 36 right, line up and wait. Endeavour 5178. Get yourself lined up, bro. Abex, sir, 599, a heavy taxi to ramp. Let's just get rid of him. Negative. Oh, yeah. oh, wait. Heavy. You need to go to the runway. Ha. Huh. Abex, sir, 599, a heavy continue taxi. That's a better command, isn't it? Continue taxi. Abex, sir, 599, a heavy. Endeavour, 5081, taxi to ramp. Taxi to ramp. Endeavour, 5081. Nice. Right, I think we're ready for our first takeoff. Endeavour 5178, wind is 3390 degrees at zero knots, runway 36 right, cleared for takeoff. I'm going to use follow mode for this for this runway one, just to see what right. happens. For five, it should look pretty cool, to be honest. I'm going to have a sip of my hot drink. I made it in the countdown, so hopefully it's too hot. <laughs> too hot. It's pretty nice, isn't it? Pretty nice. Endeavour 5178, contact Cincinnati departure on 135.3. Oh, okay, I'll say that again. Endeavour 5178. Endeavour 5178, contact Cincinnati departure on 135.3. Please? Oh, come on. Third time lucky. Endeavour 5178, contact Cincinnati departure on 135.3. There we go. I think they're already asleep in that cockpit. Look at that sky. Beautiful. Good evening. Good evening. Air transport 3559 a heavy. Runway 36 center clear to land. So he'll be here in a few minutes time. Nothing to get too excited about right now. Frontier flight 2826. Runway 36 right. Line up and wait. Gonna be pitch black here soon, Runway guys. We won't be able to see right. a thing. I'm Line telling you now. We'll all be squinting at our screens, trying to see what's going on. Right, while we're waiting for him to line up, uh, we've got the Endeavour behind him. He's getting. He's going to be taking off soon. We've got the Abex Air um, with the very uh, sort of characteristic A on his tail. He's uh, making way, and then we've got the Endeavour uh, taxiing back to his. Stand. He's nearly back, actually. He should be making a uh, left turn um, any moment now, actually. Any moment. Shall we go back to our takeoff? 
Quantity of flight 2826. Wind is 336 degrees at zero knots. Runway 36 right. Clear for takeoff. We'll have to learn a new uh, right. a new takeoff to me soon for Quantity Orlando. If and when we get it. The yeah, transport's a bit closer, about four or five miles away. We'll be in visual range soon. You can take a nice twilight picture. No. I got my thumbnail already. I did that before the stream. Feel free though, knock yourself out. It is beautiful, not gonna lie. It is beautiful. Front of flight 2826, contact Cincinnati departure and 135 decimal free. Cincinnati departure on 135.3. Front of flight 2826, Roger, good evening. Good evening. Endeavour 5398, runway 36 right, line up and wait. Runway 36 right, line up and wait. Endeavour 5398. Very nice. While he's doing that, let's go to our uh, next landing. It's going to be over here. This is um, an air transport. I think that's Amazon Prime. I forget from day to day. I'm uh, pretty sure it's an Amazon Prime. Could be wrong, though. Uh, air transport 3559 coming into land. I'll try and follow him nicely down the runway as well. Getting much, much darker. You can see the uh, plane that just took off over there as well. That's quite cool, actually. I do like seeing the flashing lights um, in the sky, especially at this time of day. All right, here we go. Yeah, it's Amazon Prime. I saw the logo as it went past. Very, very cool. Welcome to Cincinnati, sir. Right, I believe we've got a takeoff to do. Endeavour 5398. Wind is... F Are we following me? Are you following me? There you go. Endeavour 5398. Wind is 335 degrees at zero knots from my 36 right cleared for takeoff. Off you go, sir. Runway right. Then we've Clear got one more takeoff. And well, then that's all. So I might leave that Amazon Prime plane. I might leave him on the bottom for a bit, just in case we run out of planes and I need to follow something. Beautiful plane landing in the sunset. Did you know I had no one at all on my supermarket simulator stream this morning? Not one person. All the way through, guys. Shocking. <laughs> that hasn't happened for a long, long time. But I still had fun. I got a lot done, as uh, as you'll see for anyone who wants to play it back. I got loads done. I was very, very happy with it, actually. Anyway. Endeavour 5398. Contact Cincinnati Departure on 135 decimal 3. There you go, sir. Well, that gets rid of you. Well, I'll never take off now. Well, that uh, flight trip's getting... Uh, very quiet, very quickly this uh, this afternoon. Abex Air, 599, a heavy runway 36 right. Line up and wait. Please. Runway 36 right, line up and wait. In fact, we'll go into manual mode for a little bit. And you can see him come round. Play it back, and then some more. Don't say that, breaks my heart while... Well, you know, the song, Don't Go Breaking My Heart, springs to mind. But yeah, all on my own for 90 minutes with no one to talk to except myself. I had an amazing conversation with myself. <laughs> right. You know what? Shall we try and go, like, down the road? Let's try and guess where it's going to take off. I think it's going to take off around here. We'll do this one a bit differently. I think around here. So we'll see if I'm right. I'm probably, probably, horribly wrong. Abex Air 5999 heavy. Wind is 337 degrees at zero knots. Runway 36 right. Cleared for takeoff. 
Oh, Harry, I know. Runway three, six, right. There's so many Clear ways right now. Apex Air 5, 9, and 9 heavy. Everything's against me. <laughs> That's so sad. Oh, you got to laugh at life sometimes, haven't you? Righty ho. So this is Apex Air 599. Then after him, it's uh, pretty much dead. Uh, we just, we just, we'll just follow the air transport back to his uh, his uh, stand, unless we get any pushbacks or something in the near future. Right. So here we are. We're ready for him. Charging down the runway. Apex Air. Question is, how close are we going to be? Not close enough. There he goes. We got it very, very wrong. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> so funny. We'll follow him. He used a lot of runway, uh, didn't he? A lot of runway. <clears throat> Okie dokie, uh, we've only got one plane um, right now to uh, deal with. Oh, but send him to departure, that would be a good, uh, good idea. Abexer, 599 are heavy, contact Cincinnati, departure on 135.3. Cincinnati, departure on 135.3. Right, so we don't need that for a little bit, because we've only got one plane. And he is, oh, look at that blinding sun. He's over here somewhere. There he is. There he is. Uh, so this is uh, an Amazon Prime plane. We're just going to follow him back to his stand because we've got nothing else to do. Air transport 3559, a heavy taxi to ramp, cross runway 27. So I think he's going to turn taxi to ramp, right. Cross runway 27, air transport 3559, a heavy. Prime air. Soon we'll be following them in the pitch black and there'll be no point following them because you won't see anything. Um, but for now, we've still got a decent view. There's another plane coming in soon, so that's good. Uh, it's an Endeavour, it's just popped up. There you go, you can have a little look. It's just popped up on the flight strip. Move that one across. Right, so he's going to cross runway uh, 27, which is right here. Right, where are you? There you are. What's that over there? Oh, there's a plane from earlier still flying around in visual range. That's funny. Cross runway 27, thank you. Night vision goggles, yes. That is definitely what we all need. Definitely. Just look at that angle. Beautiful. He's going to be going right in front of that dazzling light in a moment. I'm glad I kept him a little bit, you know, so we've got something to watch. Oh, he disappears into the glare of the sun. And back into the shadow. It's funny, when you zoom in, it gets much darker. Right, his stand isn't actually that far away. I think he's going to... I think his stand is... I think it's here. One of... One of these... So, like, he's not far away at all. I was hoping for a nighttime rush today. Oh, look, there's the, the Amazon Prime logo. It's all, like, lit up there. That's, that's actually quite cool. Is that the Endeavour that just called up? I think it was. Yeah, it was. We'll, we'll go to him soon. He's not urgent right now. So he's coming in onto the uh, apron area, I guess. He's going to make a turn to the right in a moment. There we go. There's the turn to the right. He should follow this line down until he gets to his um, stand. I think his stand is... I think it's this one, to be honest. I think it's that one there. 
So we'll see if I'm right. Probably not, but you know. It's a fun little game to play while we're waiting. <laughs> This is going at good speed. Some of these planes taxi at uh, very quick speeds, don't they? Beautiful colours. Loving the glint off the uh, tail as well. And it captures the sun. Are you going to turn right? Please turn right. Please turn right. Please turn right. Yeah. Right, guys. Um, so, basically, um, he's finished. We got no planes at all. Not one. We have got the Endeavour coming in soon, but for, 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 for a few moments, we've got absolutely nothing to do. Which is very, very, very nice. All those prime planes. You can actually see the Endeavour over there. He's coming. He's coming. We'll be here within the next few couple... Well, next minute or so. Who's this over here? Oh, Kalita and Pola. And they're both part of uh, DHL. Very interesting. Lovely shots here of the sunset. Unfortunately, it's not much of a break. It's like it's like a, a one minute, 60 second break. While we wait for our next arrival, who's just over there. So, uh, yeah. Shall we, shall we press F9 and go to our little spot? There we go. We're ready for him to land. It'd help, actually, if I gave him clearance to land. Endeavour 5376, runway 36 centre, clear to land. Just noticed he didn't have clearance. Runway 36 center, clear to land. Endeavor 5376. That would have been embarrassing if he uh, did a go around. Anyway. Welcome to the stream. If you're just joining us, say hello. Give this video a thumbs up if you want Orlando. Whoa, that was a lovely glare then. The glare of the landing lights and the glare of the sun. That was pretty cool. Right, where are you coming off, sir? Where are you coming off? He's slowing down. Where is he coming off? Don't be shy, say hello. There we go. Alright, sir, are you ready? Endeavour 5376, taxi to ramp. Taxi to ramp. With his Delta logo. Naughty, naughty boy. In game time, 7.27. And this is how we know it's not one-to-one -one time. Because uh, I made sure today to start it bang on. So when it was 3 p.m. UK time, it was 7 p.m. in the game. But we've lost two minutes. So it's not quite synchronized. It's a bit slower than our time. Slightly. We've lost two minutes in uh, half an hour. Next plane is going to be an air transport, so another Amazon Prime. There's also another Frontier flight coming in, so we'll have a couple of um, 
Landings. But they're about five minutes away. Still about five minutes away. This guy should... He might even be at his stand by the time they land. Right, he's, make, he's, he's taxiing at quite some speed here. Cincinnati ground, Delta 1008 with information hotel. Requesting push and start. Right, there we go. We've got something to do. Delta 1008, pushback approved. Expect runway 36 right. At least you're an actual ground, Delta, right. not a pretend Delta. Delta 1008. The air transport should be making contact with us uh, any moment now, to be honest. Uh, we'll move over when he does. Cincinnati Tower, air transport there we 3323 go. heavy on final 36 center. Air transport 3323 heavy, runway 36 center clear to land. That's him sorted. The runway Endeavour looks like center, he's packing up. Air transport 3323 yep. heavy. I'm going to get rid of the Endeavour off the flight strip. Cool. Yeah, he's still too far away. Um, but he should be in visual range in the next uh, next minute or so. Let's just check in with that Delta who's pushing back. Good. That well, seems to be going fine. The Frontier Flight should be making contact with us uh, shortly. He's uh, coming into the 12 mile radius range. Usually make contact about 10 miles or so away. Let's see if I've had a mess a reply for my code request. No, not yet. Right. Delta 1008. Oh, who just contacted me? Was it the Frontier Flight? It was, wasn't it? Frontier Flight 4771, runway 36 center, clear to land. Thank runway you. Can we see anything yet? No. Oh, wait. There we go. There we go. That's the air transport that's just popped up in the middle there. Delta 1008, continue taxi. Envoy 3444, pushback approved, expect runway 36 right. There we go, so we've got two planes to play Run, with. Runway 36 right, pushback push approved. approved. Envoy 3444. 444. Cincinnati ground, Envoy 3444 with information hotel, requesting push and start. I think I pushed him back too early, never mind. Um... Next landing is coming up soon. Where are ya? There he is. Four miles away. Getting a bit closer. I'm gonna stay here for this one. Um, it's another air transport, uh, Amazon Prime. Closely followed, very closely followed actually, by a Frontier Flight. And you can see him behind as well actually. You can see the Frontier Flight behind him. That's how close he is. He's like minimum distance away. Um, so we need to make sure we clear that air transport as soon as possible when he lands to make way for the Frontier Flight. It's okay. If otherwise, there's plenty of taxiways coming off. But ideally, I'd like them all to use the same taxiway. So this is uh, Air Transport 3323 coming into land. <clears throat> Cincinnati ground, American 1008 with information hotel, requesting push and start. Cincinnati ground, envoy 3444 ready to taxi. That was quite smooth, quite nice. Um, envoy 3444, continue taxi. 
in your taxi in Voy 3444. American 1008, pushback approved, expect runway 36 right. Ground, runway 36 right, pushback approved. American 1008. Frontier flight 4771. He's coming in. Cincinnati Tower, Delta 215, final 36 center. Same follow mode for this one. Okay, much, much darker now. Oh, that's lovely. The airport lights aren't very light. Like, I would prefer them a bit brighter, I think. Especially on the runway. Anyway. Our next plane coming in is a Delta. Let's give them clearance to land. Delta 2151, runway 36 center, clear to land. Runway 36 center, clear to land. Delta 2151. Air transport 3323, heavy. Taxi to ramp, cross runway 27. Runway 27, air transport 3323 heavy. Let's check his route. Air transport 3323 heavy, hold position. He's going to be hold in the position. way, unfortunately. Air transport 3323 heavy. Um, Pontier flight 4771, taxi to ramp via Juliet. Oh no, it's not what I said. Negative. Frontier flight 4771. Frontier flight 4771, taxi to ramp via Juliet. There we go, that's better. Taxi to ramp via Juliet. Frontier flight 4771. him out of the way of the air transport. It's not a great route, to be honest. I'm going to have to keep my eye on him, but it saves him from colliding with the air transport plane. Air transport 3323, heavy. Taxi to ramp across runway 27. So he's going to get to where Taxi he needs to be now without getting hindered. Heavy. American 1008, continue taxi. Continue taxi, American 1008. Thank you, we've got three planes to take off. Delta 1008, runway 36 right. Line up and wait. <laughs> God, I messed that up, didn't I? Delta 1008, runway 36 right, line up and wait. Please. Runway 36 right via November. Mike, Mike. Delta 1008. Runway 36 right. Line up and wait. Thank Delta you. Delta 1008. Right, next plane is landing. It's a Delta. He's over there. Not too far away. Should be with us within the next minute or so. I think I confused that other Delta because he's not moving now. Delta 1008, runway 36 right. Runway 36 right, Delta 1008. Mm -hmm. Delta 1008, runway 36 right, line up and wait. Let's see if we'll do it now. Runway 36 right, line up and wait. Right, Delta so this is Delta 2151 coming into land. Cincinnati ground, Delta 951 with information hotel. Request very, very nice. Okay, so follow mode back on. Oh, he is actually doing as he's been told now. Okay, that's good. We'll come back into him in a sec. Uh, Frontier flight 4771, hold position. Just a bit worried about you. Hold position. Because the American just needs to get out first. There we go. Frontier flight 4771, continue taxi. Taxi. Good. I'm happy about that now. Delta 951, pushback approved. Expect runway 36 right. Ground, runway 36 right. Pushback approved. Thank you. Delta 951. Mm hmm. Um, Delta 2151, taxi to ramp. Might as well get rid of him. Taxi to ramp. 
Delta two one five one. Shall we do a takeoff? Delta 1008, wind is 15 degrees at zero knots, runway 36 right, cleared for takeoff. Oh, okay, he's ignoring me. Shall I try again? Delta 1008, wind is 15 degrees at zero knots, runway 36 right, cleared for takeoff. There you go, well done. Runway 36 right, cleared for takeoff. Going Delta good so far, easy. 100%, easy. United 179 easy, so easy. Center. Delta 1008, contact Cincinnati departure on 135 decimal 3. He's done. Cincinnati departure on 135.3. Delta we'll probably get rid of one more. Roger. Good evening. Envoy 3444, four, four, runway 36 right, line up and wait. I might just runway do the three, uh, clearance right. for the next line plane. Envoy three, four, four, four. United 1796, runway 36 right, line up and wait. Oh no, it's clear to land I want. United 1796, runway 36, center, clear to land. So relaxing, watching the planes. Same okay, I'll, I'll crash them for you. Center, clear to land. I'll crash them for United you then. Let's, let's make some, some, some stress and tension. Delta 951, continue taxi. Continue taxi, Delta 951. Thank you. Envoy 3444, four, four. wind is 190 degrees at zero knots, runway 36 right, cleared for takeoff. Runway 36 right, cleared for takeoff. Thank you, good Envoy sir. Three, four, four, four. Is Locke still here? Oh, we've got eight people watching now. Hello, eight people. Write in the chat where you come from in the world, if you have Tower Simulator 3, and what your favourite airport is. Do it. Do it now. Or else. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, this is uh, Envoy 344 uh, taking off in this glorious, glorious sunset. It is beautiful. Envoy 3444, four, four. contact Cincinnati departure on 135 decimal 3. Look at this, look at that sky. It's just beautiful. It's so pretty. Right, um, we have a United landing in a moment. Um, so we'll go and see him in a sec. American 1008, runway 36 right, line up and wait. We'll get him ready. Three, six, right, let's go into manual up, mode um, for zero, our zero, landing. So there he is, there. And it's a, it's a United plane. It's a United plane, United 1796, uh, followed by an American in uh, a few minutes' time. Hey, there we go. Nicola does not have Tower Simulator 3 and no favorite airports. Nicola, how did you find this stream if you if you don't play it? I'm very curious now. You must let me know. I'm glad someone replied. There you go. I'm happy now. There we go. Very smooth. Very slick. Love it. Absolutely love it. American 799er, runway 36 center, clear to land. That's our next plane in a little bit. Shall we do a runway takeoff? Center, clear We've to land. We've got time. American 799 American 1008, wind is 24 degrees at zero knots, runway 36 right, cleared for takeoff. Nice American plane, runway this. Runway 36 right, cleared three, six, for takeoff. Right. American 1008. Beautiful. My little brother's learning Spanish on Duolingo. 
A bit of a delayed reaction there, but uh, he seems to be enjoying it. Hmm. Cincinnati ground, Castle 915 with Castle information. I wonder who that is. I have a feeling. I don't know. I kind of want to say DHL or, or something, but I'm not sure. It's a cargo plane. Put it that way. American 1008. Contact Cincinnati departure on 135 decimal three. Your link's Spanish as well. Very nice. Cincinnati departure on 135 decimal three. American 1008. Roger. Good evening. Good evening. Right. Um, let's see. Let's go see that castle plane. Castle 9015. Pushback approved. Expect runway 36 right. Oh, it's a little tiny plane. Negative. What the heck? Just please approve our start. Castle 9015. Castle 9015 approved. Expect runway 36 right. Oh damn, I did not expect that at all. Runway 36 right, approved. Right. I'm tempted to send him to uh, Tango 4. But 36, like, the main runway is just so much closer. It kind of just makes sense to let him go into the main runway the way he wants to. United 179 is 6. Taxi to ramp. Get rid of you. Taxi to ramp. United or six. Right, we've got that American plane coming Castle in. There he is. Castle 9015, continue taxi. Continue taxi. Castle 9015. Delta 9051, runway 36 right, line up and wait. Might as well get him ready. Runway 36 right, line up and wait. Delta nine Definitely five. getting much, much darker now. The sun's getting pretty close. So that horizon, and then it'll get very dark very quickly. Anyway, uh, this is American 799 coming into land. Cincinnati ground, Bridgeyard 4754 with information hotel, requesting push and start. So beautiful. All right. Brickyard 4754, pushback approved, expect runway 36 right. Or ignore me and we'll try again. Negative. Brickyard 4754. Brickyard 4754, pushback approved, expect runway 36 right. Is Nicola still here or has she gone? Runway I think she might have right. gone. Pushback approved. Brickyard 4754. Right, so that's you done. Castle one five ready to taxi. Castle 9015, continue taxi. New tiny little thing. Continue taxi. Castle I can barely see you, good sir. I can barely see you. Delta 901, no. Delta 951, wind is 32 degrees at zero knots. Runway 36 right, cleared for takeoff. There we go. Let's get Runway rid of him. I've right. got one Clear plane in every call. column right Delta now, which is pretty cool. Quite like that. And I've got a pushback to do as well. An air shuttle, ground. which I air believe with hotel. is a United. Um, so we'll see about that in a minute. I'm pretty sure that's United. Cincinnati Tower, Brickyard 3675 on final 36 center. That's good. I might just give him clearance first and then do the pushbacks. Lovely sight. Yes, it is. Delta 9051, contact Cincinnati departure on 135 decimal 3. That's you done. Cincinnati departure on 135.3. Delta right, let's Roger. do the one that's Good coming evening. in first. Brickyard 3675, runway 36 center, clear to land. Runway 36 center, clear to land. Thank Brickyard you. Brickyard 3675. Right. Cincinnati ground, Brickyard 4754, ready to taxi. Brickyard 4754, continue taxi. Actually, the United continue plane taxi. has just finished as well, Brickyard so we'll get rid of him. 
Uh, we've got one pushback to do. Air shuttle 6015, pushback approved, expect runway 36 right. It is a United, I can see the United Ground. logo. Right. I knew it, approved. I knew it, chart. See, I'm learning. American 799er, taxi to ramp. Taxi to ramp, American 799er. Good. Castle 9015, runway 36 right, line up and wait. This tiny little plane. Runway 36 right, line up and wait. You can Castle barely see it, guys. <laughs> this is going to be like the second half of the stream between 4 pm and 5 pm. We're just going to be like reaching for our magnifying glasses. <clears throat> Right, well, so I hope you can see, because you're going to be taking off now. There we go, that's the sound I was waiting for. Castle 9015, wind is 37 degrees up to zero knots, runway 36 right, cleared for takeoff. Runway 36 right, cleared for takeoff. A brave Castle little plane, yeah. Brave little plane. Well, you know, as long as he's got his nighttime license, he's all right. Ah. Having landed a small aircraft in the twilight, I can tell you it is quite scary when it starts getting dark. It is quite scary. Much less taking off, I suppose. Anyway, there we go. Nice, quick, easy takeoff for this little dude. Castle 9015, contact Cincinnati departure on 135, decimal free. Got quite a nice uh, little cinematic here with him going like almost across the whole runway like this. Quite nice. Very, very nice. Beautiful. Those pinks in the background there. Turning into black at the top of the screen. That is a beautiful, beautiful sight. Right, let's get rid of him. Uh, we've got a brickyard coming into land right now. Like, literally, I nearly missed that. I was getting so carried away with the beautiful scenery. Cincinnati ground. November 120. Juliet Whiskey with information. Hotel. Ready to start. Right. Thank God we got him. That's the flex jet. Flex jet 533, three, runway 36 center, clear to land. Oh, I don't think he's made contact yet. Oh, oh, there we go. Flex jet 533, three, runway 36 center, clear to land. Alright, I don't have to worry about you now for a little bit. Right, what's going on? Air shuttle 6015, continue taxi. I can hardly see you, but please continue taxi. Air shuttle 6015. Right, so we've got the brickyard in number one, the air shuttle in number two. We've got a little tiny plane that wants to push back. November 12, Juliet, no, 120. November 120, Juliet Whiskey approved. Expect runway 36 right. We'll get him on to uh, Ground, Tango 5. Right. For sure, Tango November 5. One, two, zero, Once whiskey. he's uh, sorted himself out. Um, let's see, we've got the Brickyard that just landed. Let's sort him out. Brickyard 3675, taxi to ramp. Taxi to ramp. Brickyard 3675. The American has finished. Let's get rid of him. There we go. It's all going pretty smoothly right now. So outgoing planes, we've got the Brickyard. He's got another minute or so to get to the runway. We've got the Air Shuttle, AKA United, taxiing. Um, we've got the uh, private plane, which is just here, sorting himself out. We've got the Brickyard, who's going back to his stand. And then we've got a Flexjet, whom we can only just see and he's coming into land soon. So, um, 
we've got, we've got a few moments here to just chill out. So I'm just going to put follow mode on this uh, brickyard plane while I sip my tea. Mm. I'm fresh out of tea now. What is it? It's nearly 4 p.m. I'm tempted to get another cup of tea for the second half of the stream. I'm tempted, but I might just drink from my water bottle instead. Who's that ready for taxi? Oh, it's the little one. Okay, he's going to Tango 5. November 120. Bleh. November 120. Juliet Whiskey. Runway 36 right at Tango 5. Please, because you don't need to go all the way to the end. You can just go to Tango 5, halfway down the runway, and um, that'll be fine. It's so dark, isn't it? Like, on the ground. <laughs> you can barely see anything. <laughs> the flex jet is doing well. He's going to be here in a moment. Brickyard 4754, runway 36 right, line up and wait. The... Brightness on the ground is now virtually nothing. Virtually nothing. Let's go into manual mode for the landing. Sun very, very close to the horizon. Very, very dark now. Very, very dark. So I think Flexjet is like a medium-sized plane. Sometimes even quite a small plane. It depends. We've got a bit of illumination over there, actually, don't we? The uh, Amazon Prime planes. Not too bad. Some very long shadows. That's one of the things I love about this game. The long, long shadows. It's very realistic at night. And actually, first thing in the morning as well with the sunrise. Um, but yeah, some of the airports still illuminated as this uh, flex jet comes into land. Pretty sure it's just a smallish plane, but we'll see now. Medium. It's a medium plane. Nothing to get too excited about. Uh, go for some tea. Have a chocolate to... I don't have any chocolates. I don't have any cakes or any chocolates right now. It's very sad. I was talking about this in um, um, Supermarket Simulator earlier. <laughs> I was going on about all the cakes I had to restock. And I was like, oh, I don't have any cakes or chocolates. It's so sad. Anyway... Right, he's landed. Uh, we've got one takeoff to do. Brickyard 4754, runway 3... Actually, no. I was going to give him the short takeoff, but let's do Brickyard let's do the fun long takeoff. R uh, Brickyard 4754, wind is 51 degrees at zero knots. Runway 36 right, cleared for takeoff. So let's face it, I'm not going to be able to say that many runway more times right. now that we're coming into the final hour of Cincinnati... For a very long time. And you guys know, once you go into my rotation, you're not going to get seen for a long, 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 long time. There's some airports in my rotation that I've not streamed for over six months. That's how long the list is now. It's not good. But also, in a way, it is good because we have a lot of variety, a lot of options, and a lot of choices. That does make me happy. You've got to have some for Easter. Feel free to mail me 100 Easter eggs. Everyone e e mail me 100 Easter eggs. My um, my pure box is in the description. There you go. <laughs> Brickyard 4754, contact Cincinnati departure on 135 decimal free. It gets darker every time we look at this, uh, this particular scene here, doesn't it? Darker and darker and darker. And darker. Good evening. Blimey. Right. I usually keep the plane that's landed. Um, just in case for emergencies. But you know what? It's only a flex jet. So I'm not that bothered. Flex jet 533. Taxi to ramp. Just a little tiny thing. Taxi to ramp. I don't flex care about you. I'm sorry. Right. Who's next? Um, I think it's the private plane next. He looks like looks like he's on Tango 5. November 120, Juliet Whiskey, runway 36 right, line up and wait. Yep, he's on Tango 5, ready to rock and roll. Except he's ignoring me, he might be asleep in there. November 120, Juliet Whiskey, runway 36 right, line up and wait. Come on. 
Thank you. Right. Line up and wait. Right. One, two, I might zero, go into uh, manual mode for this one. Um, let's see. It's just over here somewhere. There he is. I see his lights. So uh, this is Tango 5. This is the main runway here. It's not a very brightly lit runway, which is a little bit sad. But, you know, that's okay. And Tango 5 is literally halfway along. If I go to the end of the runway, or the beginning, we've got one plane waiting to go there. And you can see Tango 5 is quite far down. Like, I have to zoom in. And you can see him halfway down there. So he's a substantial way down. More than halfway. Anyway, he'll take off. He'll be fine. Just a quicker way to get him into the air with these smaller planes. November 120, Juliet Whiskey. Wind is 5, 6 degrees at 0 knots. Runway 36 right. Clear for takeoff. Off you go, sir. Get those Runway lights on. Right. Clear for November, and we're going to follow you as well to see how much runway you actually use when you take off halfway down the runway. 100, noted. Might as well make it 200 or even 300 or even 365.25 and then I'll have one for every day of the year. Got an email. I am waiting for some very important emails. Um, but it's just trash. Come on, take off. The end of the runway is approaching. There you go. November 120, Juliet Whiskey. Contact Cincinnati departure on 135.3. Cincinnati departure on 135.3. Ooh, that pink is almost a dark red now. I'm not even sure I can call it pink anymore, to be honest. <laughs> anyway, he's done. He's done. We've only got... Hold on. The brickyard is done. The flex jet is done. We've only got one plane on the strip, so we kind we've kind of we kind of gone full circle here. Because about an hour ago we had a, uh, just one plane on the strip as well, and it's gotten very quiet again. Air shuttle six zero one five. There he is. He's our only plane right now, and he's taking off. Air shuttle six zero one five runway three three six right. Line up and wait. Let's go into manual for him as well, shall we? Might as well. Press F8. Where are you? There he is. Don't even need that because we all know there's one plane. 300. 365.25. It's, it's a humongous package to take up the whole plane. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think you'll need a cargo container. You can see the... Uh, the three six rights there, illuminated by the plane's uh, forward lights. It's quite cool. You can only just see it, I guess, but yeah, very, very cool. Our last plane. Well, not our last, but it's currently our last plane, so there's nothing else going on. Shall we get rid of him? Air shuttle 6015. Wind is 61 degrees at zero knots. Runway 36 right. Cliff takeoff. Just don't get a cargo container that's going to crash into a bridge. You know? Or is it too soon to make jokes about that? Probably too soon. I'm sorry, world. <clears throat> right, let's follow him. And then we can chill out for a little bit. I might play my advert, actually. Halfway through the stream. Nothing going on. Might as well. And there we go. Air shuttle 6015, contact Cincinnati departure 135, decimal 3. Cincinnati departure on 135.3, air shuttle yeah. 6015, roger. So Good now. evening. Good evening. All right, I'm going to press my little advert button on my stream deck because there's nothing going on now. There's nothing on the flight strip. Uh, and who knows, in 90 seconds, we may get something. So I'll be back in 90 seconds. 
Hello everyone. In late April of this year, I'll be taking part in Swimathon 2024, and I need your help. Swimathon is an annual challenge where swimmers of all ages and abilities raise cash towards Cancer Research UK and Marie Curie, and at the same time, completing a swimming challenge. As someone who was traumatised by swimming as a child, I recently started swimming as a 40-year-old adult in January of this year. I have a medical condition called costochondritis, which not only affects my quality of life, but also affects my whole body. Coupled with arthritis and other musculoskeletal issues, this is definitely going to be a hard challenge for me to achieve. My challenge is simply to swim 100 meters unaided. This might not seem like a lot, but at the time of recording this video, I'm only halfway there and believe you me, it will take every ounce of my being to complete this. I'm looking to raise 100 pounds and if you're watching this in a live stream, click the link in the top of the chat or if you're watching it on social media, just click the link attached to this video. Every donation will help me not only contribute towards an amazing cause, but also give me motivation to complete this fantastic challenge and get a medal. Thanks for helping. Goodbye. Nearly pressed my end stream button then. <laughs> Uh, so there you go, you can see the sun is, well, it's, it's submerged now below the horizon. Um, it's uh, certainly, I think we're past sunset, really. This is very much a twilight, it's not even twilight now. It's just fully dark. It's just fully dark. A few remnants of sunlight remaining. <laughs> but it's mostly just fully dark now. It's interesting, really. If I, like, go up in the air, more of the sun comes up. Because that's what happens, isn't it? The further you go up, the more of the sun you see. Uh, and then as I go down closer to the ground, we lose some of that sun. I quite like that sort of effect. But, yeah. Nothing else going on right now. So, I might just leave <laughs> the camera here. Uh, and we'll watch the sun just, just disappear below the horizon. I don't know. Up. Down. Up. Down. What time is it in the game? It's 8.03 in the game. So, so far we've lost... So, we've lost seven minutes in uh, one hour. Which is quite interesting. How far forward can I go here? How far will it let me go? Actually, we can go quite far. Holy cow. Dang. This must be like the furthest we've ever been allowed to go. Oh, there we go. Wow, that is so far away from the airport. Which is like over there and there. Wow, wow, wow. I've never been able to go this far out before. That, <laughs> that's quite cool that feel they do that. Um, you know, you've got, you've just got freedom to travel around. Look how far the airport is. Holy cow. Very far away. It's like on the horizon almost. And then feel that I've like modeled all this extra stuff going off into the distance as well. It's very, very cool. It's interesting just watching the very slight changes uh, in shadows and things, particularly on the horizon in these buildings as the sun uh, sinks lower and lower. I can see some very subtle changes on my monitor. Um, but yeah, full on dark for the second um, second half of this stream. Full on dark. We're going to be struggling to see anything, to be honest. <laughs> What's this over here? Oh, that's the terminal. One of the terminals, anyway. It's a shame, really. I think I think it's not very well lit, this airport. And I don't mean that in a bad way. It's just how it is. Uh, like if I turn the lights off... Uh, oh, the lights only have come on over here. Okay. You see what I mean? Like, the lights... It just doesn't seem particularly bright. And that might be just how the airport is. But as an air traffic controller, I would, I would like more lights. Let's 
go over here. Is there anything that makes a... Like, over here, it's very, very dark over here. I don't think we've got any lighting. Oh, we've got a little bit. Hold on. There's one light. There's literally one light over there. To illuminate this whole area. Um, I think I think Cincinnati need to install more lighting. We still have a tiny bit of light, sunlight reflecting off these planes over here, but it's mostly dark now. That's still quite cool. Well, wow. oh, we just got, we just had a plane pop up there on the radar, uh, United 1494, um, so we'll have something to watch when he lands uh, in a little bit. If we do get a code for Orlando, apparently Orlando is the seventh um busiest runway uh, busiest airport in the in the world or in America I'm not sure which um so that will probably keep us very very busy I'm just gonna see if there's a trailer for it actually oh there is there's a 41 second trailer shall we watch it I feel as if we should watch this trailer um so let's just drag that into here let's make it full screen. Right, let's put that away. Are we ready for the Orlando KMCO uh, trailer while we wait for this plane to land? Also, hello, Nick. Here we go. My first time seeing this as well. Feels like a horror movie with this music. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. Oh, dang, it's big. It really is big. It looks quite futuristic, doesn't it? With that central bit, and then, like, the sides coming off. Dang. There's at least one, two, three. There's so many runways. You just bide. Bought Orlando. Dang, bro. You're doing better than me. I'm waiting for a code. Um, so as soon as I get a code, I'll be playing it. But um, it may not materialize uh, for a day or so. Look at that. The setting sun. Dazzling off that building there. <laughs> Nick, you need to let me know what Orlando's like. Tell me, like, how many runways there are. Tell me everything, okay? Tell me everything. And then I'll have some good hints and tips ready for when I have it. Um, United 1494, runway 36 center, clear to land. Runway 36 center, clear to land. Yeah, it looks United cool, doesn't it? It looks very cool. It looks very cool. Um, if I don't have the code tomorrow, I'm not sure what I'm going to do, to be honest. I may do, because it's Friday tomorrow, isn't it? I may do one of the user-created airports tomorrow. Uh, and that's a, f uh, that's a flip between uh, London Stansted and uh, Brussels. But we'll see. I won't know until tomorrow what's, what's, what's what. Uh, I can't play with real liveries, though, at Orlando. I don't know why. It's got four runways. Do you not have the... Um the Energist Design um, DLC for like all the liveries. Or it may be, Nick, it may be, if you do, um, it may be that you just need to like restart Portal um, to get the update. Because there was an update earlier on um, from Energist Design for the new planes that have been added. <clears throat> Brussels. Well, it's, it's Be Bad Friday tomorrow, so I'm, I'm not going to do Brussels now. You've said it. It's Be Bad Friday, innit? Got to be bad. <laughs> you do have it. Yeah, maybe you just don't have the update, bro. Or maybe you just need to restart or something. So I had to restart it earlier, download the update, and then launch it again. You know? 
Uh, but they did announce... Oh, look, there's, there's the next landing plane. They did announce it earlier. Um, and I did get the download, like, for the new skins, whatever, even though I don't have the airport yet. Right, shall we get into position? We've got something to watch now. Um, so this is... I can't even see the runway. It's so dark. This is um, United 1494 coming into land. There's a southwest um, just popped up as well. So he'll be with us shortly. Um, well, Nick, I use Portal. And when I launched Portal earlier, uh, you know where you see the list of like all the airports and things? Well, next to the world traffic or whatever it is, uh, there was an update button, so I just pressed the update button, and um, that's how it did it for me. So, um, I don't know how you have it, because I know some people have portals, some people have Energis 1. Uh, so, there's lots of different ways, isn't there, to sort of launch the game. But I, I, do, it, I do everything through portal, and uh, that's where the update was for me. Okay, so this is uh, United 1494 coming into land. Finally. A bit of uh, a bit of light. And he's gone. <laughs> right. We're coming, we're following you, we're following you. Right, where are you gonna take uh, we won't take off, where are you gonna turn off? Oh, that light is dazzling, bro. That light is dazzling. Turn that light off right Six now. Southwest 1797 on final 36 center. Southwest 1797, runway 36 center. Clear to land. Right, runway so I put this on for a minute so you can see what's going on. Southwest 1797. Right, at least we got something to follow now as we go back to ramp. Nick says, I bought it on Steam. Does that matter? I don't think it matters. Um, I'm just trying to think. Because I always launch through Portal. Like, do you have Portal? Because if you don't, I would I would like, encourage you to download it. And then you'll, then it will, like, check all your airports and do all your updates for you. Um, who is this? United 1494, taxi to ramp. Please... Taxi to ramp. United one four nine or four. The lights are so bright, aren't they? I suppose they need to be bright for good reason, really. But uh, yeah, at least we can sort of follow something now. It's gone very, very quiet here at uh, Cincinnati in-game time eight thirteen p.m. It is our last stream here, sadly, for a long, long time. As I said earlier, it will head into my rotation, which is about six months long. Um, so, who knows? It may, be, it may be Christmas when we come back to uh, Cincinnati. Hopefully not so long. But you never know. Do I have the link for Portal? Um, no, I don't. But hold on. I can probably grab it real quick. Bear with me. There we go. That's the link there. So it's quite easy. Um, it's feelthere.com forward slash portal. And I'll put it in the chat for you as well. Feelthere.com forward slash portal. There's a big button that says download now. And then like once you've installed it and stuff, um, I think it like there's a button or something that you press to scan for games or whatever. And it'll just scan your system, find Tower Simulator free, find all your DLCs, and if there's any updates, um, it will tell you. Uh, so it's fairly, uh, it's fairly straightforward. Right, our next plane is landing soon. I don't know if I can see him anywhere yet. I've completely lost my. Oh, there he is! There he is! He's over there. Look. So he'll be landing very, very soon. Southwest 1797. Our United friend, he's doing all right. He's got a very short taxi, actually. He's not going to be out here for very, very long. Thanks. You're welcome. <clears throat> yep. 
It is amazing how quickly it gets dark, isn't it? Like, we started the stream and sunset, and it's now fully dark. Right, let's press F9. Let's get uh, another cinematic here. Oh, do you, want, do you want to ride with this one? Let's ride with him. Let's ride with him. The Southwest 1797 coming into land on runway 36 center. Gosh, I would hate to be landing at <laughs> Cincinnati. I can't see the runway until it's like until it's like there. Dang. Luckily, you know, there are instruments on board that guide you appropriately, but still. That's a little bit scary. Right, so he's landed. Um, we've got a uh, Frontier flight coming in soon as well. I think he just made contact, actually. Uh, so let's say hello to him. Frontier flight 2547, runway 36 center, clear to land. Runway 36 center, clear to land. So runway he'll be here soon. We can't see him yet, um, but he'll be here soon. A couple of minutes. Southwest 1797, taxi to ramp. Meanwhile, the United plane from earlier, he's actually um, he's actually going to be turning in to his uh, final stand in just a few moments' time. So he's pretty much done with himself now. I'll just wait a moment, though, before I um, take him off the flight strip. But he should be turning left any moment. Uh, Catherine's here. Hello, Catherine. How are you today? Welcome. Good evening from Uganda. Well, in 38 minutes, I'll be saying good evening as well. Good evening from England. Though it's still afternoon. It's afternoon for 30, 38 more minutes. And then we're done. It's very dark here today, Catherine. We're doing a night, well, a sunset, a sunset uh, stream at Cincinnati. It's our last time at this airport. We're at a new one tomorrow. Um, the sun has, well, gone now. Completely gone. And we're on full, for full on nighttime mode now for the rest of the stream. So you're going to have to squint your eyes a little bit because it's very hard to see. Um, but we've got a plane coming in shortly, actually. Uh, Frontier flights. So that should be quite nice. Oh, dear. Doing really good having dinner. Ooh. Catherine, what are you having for dinner tonight? I think my family, I think we're having jacket potatoes with like maybe coleslaw and some kind of chicken or something. I don't know actually, but something with jacket potatoes. Maybe some sweet corn. I'm not sure. I just remember, so like we've got like a menu downstairs. My mum writes like a menu on a whiteboard every week and I just remember seeing a few random things. 7.23. Very nice. You're three hours ahead of me. Right. This is Frontier Flight 2547 coming into land. Can't see much of it beyond the uh, bright lights, but, you know, you can trust me. There we go. Still in manual, so we'll have a little, uh, we'll try and catch up with him a little bit. Frontier. Quite a good shot, that. You know, sounds just as organized as you are. Yeah, we're all very OCD in this house. Right, let's just get the United off the flight strip because he's all parked up now. Let's move on to your flight across. We haven't had any pushbacks for ages, guys. Not for absolutely ages. I wonder if there's no more pushbacks um, at this airport because we've pretty much done the full schedule. We started at 6 a.m., didn't we? Um, a week and a half ago or two weeks ago. 
I think we might have done the whole schedule, literally. Um, anyway. Frontier Flight 2547 and Taxi to Ramp. How long have we, have we been streaming? 90 Taxi minutes? Like, if it does become too dead, I may just end the stream early. <laughs> uh, but for the moment, for the moment, we've got something to watch. Actually, funnily enough, the Southwest is parking up right now. There he is. He's parking up. We'll get rid of him off the flight strip. So that leaves us with the... Um, just the frontier, actually. I'm just prepared. Oh gosh, I don't know how to say that. Matuki, that's how I'm saying it. You're probably gonna laugh your laugh your face off. Matuki, and some nuts and soup and African greens. That sounds super super healthy. I should eat more healthily, really, but that's difficult. <laughs> I do try. But you know, when you've got aches and pains, <laughs> a nice piece of cake goes a long way. I actually nearly went into the corner shop early to buy some cake. I, I, sh I had good restraints not going in there. When I was walking home from the doctor's surgery, I thought, oh, a nice piece of cake would be so good. McDonald's. I've not been to McDonald's for so long. It's uh, very, very rare, really. We go there now. And, like, prices, like, so much more, like, to buy things there. Like, I think, like, just the basic, basic cheeseburger went up by 20p or something. Like, it went from 99p to 119, and it's been 99p for years. And you get the same thing, the exact same product, for 20% more. I think that's wrong. Like, that's an inflation busting price increase. That's why I should go get that cake. And I need to be good. Cincinnati Tower, National Cargo Flurry as well. Nice. Heavy on final National Cargo, eh? Look, looks like a tiny little plane. Oh, maybe not. It's, it's a slash heavy. National Cargo 584 heavy. Runway 36 center clear to land. Runway 36 center clear to land. National Cargo 584 heavy. Yes, sir. I wonder where this... Oh, I think he's going to park up down there. Top left. You can pay there with our food card from work. Mm, so it was free in a way. Mm. I see. Seven watching again. GG's guys. Well done. Welcome to a very dark Cincinnati. We're at the end of the schedule, I think, because uh, it's getting very, very quiet. You watch, we'll get a crazy mad rush now. How old am I? I'm 40. 40. How old are you, Catherine? How old are you? No, I'm 40. I don't look it, but I am. And the inside of my body is about 80. 40 on the outside. 80 on the inside. Right, he's coming in. Cincinnati ground, November four zero eight. Mike, Mike, with information. Well, that was very good timing because we needed that. November four zero eight. Mike, Mike, approved. Expect runway three six rights. It's a very tiny little plane. You ground. can't see a runway thing around right. him. Um, November four zero eight. Mike, Mike. There's one that national, what's he called? National Cargo's coming in as well. He's about five miles away, but he's our next plane. I might just stay on follow mode for him. Yeah, we'll just stay here. I'm gonna have a sip of my water. 
That's impossible. I thought you were around 30, 31. Most people think I'm in my 20s, actually. I wish it was impossible, to be honest. Oh, Harry, don't say that. Well, it's true. <laughs> I break far too easily. I've got far so much wrong with me. I do feel like a 99-year-old sometimes. Especially first thing on a morning. <laughs> oh, my word. Cincinnati ground, November 408. Mike, Mike, ready to taxi. Ooh. Oh, that little itty bitty plane's already ready to taxi. All right, this is the national cargo coming in. I'm a little bit intrigued, actually. Oh, he's, it's a super jumbo. Holy moly. Oh, I'm a little bit excited now. He's got four engines on him. Dang. That was a moment. That took me by surprise. Coming out of the darkness into the light with those four engines. Not often we get these big supers um, in Tower Simulator 3. It's a nice surprise. Let's go into manual and try and catch him. Uh, where are you? There he is. Welcome, welcome. Dang. If only it was daylight, I could just like gawk at the plane. National down the side. Nationalairlines.com. There you go. There's a bit of advertising for you. Quite a nice plane. It's blue. I like blue. Uh, Catherine says 28, but you look 25. Very good. I'd love to be 25 again. I'd do so much different with my life. But never mind. It is what it is. National Cargo, 584 Heavy. Taxi to ramp across runway 27. Taxi to ramp across runway 27. National Cargo, 584 Heavy. Yes, sir, let me just check your route. You can move. I have given you permission. I don't think he wants to move, guys. November 408, Mike Mike. Runway 36 right at Tango 5. Runway 36 right at Tango 5. Yeah, you November can go. Mike Mike. Please. I can't tell if he's going or not. Yeah, he is moving. It's just so dark now. And this guy just doesn't want to move. National Cargo, 584 Heavy, Taxi to Ramp. Let's just say that and see what he does. Taxi to Ramp, National Cargo, 584 Are you going to move? Sometimes you do get planes in this game that just don't move. We've, we had one a while ago. I remember, was it the last airport? And no matter what I said, it just wouldn't cooperate or do anything. And I ended up just deleting it because it was just like one, a bugged out plane. I'm wondering, I am wondering if this plane is bugged. Which would be super, super sad because it's such a beautiful plane with these big four engines. But so far, I'm sussing him a little bit. Because he's not moving or responding to instructions. Uh, let's do it on the command line. We've not used this yet today, but we'll use it now. So, press that. We'll just, we'll just do, make it simple. Taxi to ramp. Taxi to ramp. National Cargo 584 Heavy. Is he going to move? He's not, is he? He's not moving. I wonder if I should report that one. Um, even older than Harry by 10 years. When I was 28 like you, I had just had my second child. Catherine doesn't have a kid yet. Not even dating. Well, that's, that's, well, I'm, I'm right with you there. 
I don't have a kid. I'm not dating anyone. And at 40, you know, time slipping away. <laughs> Guys, I think this plane is bugged. It is not responding to instructions, either like verbally or um, in writing. So, I don't know. I'm kind of thinking we should delete him. Let's try a couple of other little commands just in case. National Cargo, 584 Heavy, continue taxi. Okay, didn't even hear me that time. National Cargo, 584 Heavy, continue taxi. Continue taxi. Now, continue taxi National shouldn't work anyway, but I'm just saying it just in case. National Cargo, 584 Heavy, taxi to ramp. Yeah, he's just not moving. I think we need to get rid of this plane. That's very sad. I was looking forward to um, following his progress. Delete. Cincinnati Tower, Amazon. Um, let's see. November, Charlie, Romeo, 584. This is very sad. But there we go. He's gone. We'll get a fatal error for that now. But you guys are all witness to the fact I did not make a mistake. And we did try to... Um, do something. Meanwhile, uh, we've got a little tiny plane. Uh, he's taking off somewhere. Somewhere around here. There he is. Can't see a bleeding thing in this darkness. He's taking off on Tango 5, halfway down the runway. Uh, we, got, we can get rid of him now, can't we? November 408, Mike, Mike. Runway 36 right, line up and wait. It's very, very dark here now, guys. I'm really sorry right. it's so dark, but... No yeah, nothing I can do about mic. that, unfortunately. You know, you can blame the sun for going down. There you go. Ooh, what was that message that... Oh, uh, uh, was it just caps? Our bot is very sensitive. Sadly. Right, here we go. November 408, Mike Mike. Wind is 23 degrees at zero knots. Runway 36 right, cleared for takeoff. Off you go, good sir. Runway I think we'll follow right. you as well. Let's Mike see Mike. how much runway you use, because you, you're taking off halfway down this runway. Right, after this, um, we've got an Amazon Air coming in. We've got a giant coming in. And then, guys, I might end unless we get a sudden rush. Because we are at the end of the timetable. We've seen it grow gradually quieter. It's nearly time to say goodbye to Cincinnati. It's been a good run, though. Right, he's done. November 408. Mike, Mike, contact Cincinnati departure on 135.3. That might be the last time I ever say that. Cincinnati departure on one three five point three. Right. November four zero eight. That's quite Mike, sad Mike. if it is. Roger. Good evening. Good evening. Right, we've got two planes coming in. Amazon Air three zero zero one runway three six center clear to land. Runway three six center clear to land. Amazon Air three zero zero one. Thank you. There's another one behind him as well. I think, I think he's made contact. Giant 3695, runway 36 center, clear to land. Runway 36 yeah. center, clear to land. Okay. Um, hold on, let's go to F9. We'll see the Amazon land. The Giant is not too far behind, actually. About four miles, I would estimate. So, if we don't get a mad rush in the next couple of minutes, I'll probably end everyone. Like, we've done nearly two hours anyway, so I don't feel bad about it. Ah. <laughs> uh. So, this is uh, Amazon Air 3001 coming into land. At Cincinnati. Nice lights. Nice to have a bit of illumination, isn't it? There he goes. That's one. 
The giant is... Oh, we can actually see the giant. Holy cow. This is one thing I love about nighttime. You can just see them from so far away. The giant is going to be our last plane, guys. I'm making an executive decision. Like, it's, it's nearly... We're nearly on the two-hour mark anyway. So, I don't feel bad about that. Um, let's get this guy taxiing back to ramp. <clears throat> you want to keep hearing my voice, Catherine? Well, I have some good news for you. I did a stream this morning, Supermarket Simulator. Feel free to, like, go into my videos and just watch it back. And you can hear my voice all night long. Amazon Air 3001 taxi to ramp. Now, I don't Amazon think I'm doing a daytime stream tomorrow morning. I'm not. There's no daytime stream tomorrow. Just just a tower simulator stream in the afternoon. And it will be a different airport, which I'm really looking forward to. We just don't know what airport yet. Right, shall we follow the uh, giant as he comes in? This is our last last one of the day, everyone. Yes, Erisama often watches back streams that she's missed. It's good for my watch hours because it helps me get a little bit closer to um, affiliate level if people are doing that, which is very good. Can't see a bleeding thing. <laughs> oh my. There we go. Two adverts coming up. My swimmer font advert is coming up. My Kofi advert is coming up. And then you'll see the end of stream credits. And I can smell dinner. Hmm. Right, we'll just tell him to taxi to ramp and then we'll be done with him. Had it running all night Six once this week. That is amazing. Right. Our final command then. Um, for Cincinnati Airport. And then it goes into rotation. And we might not see it for six months. Giant 3695. Taxi to ramp. Taxi to ramp. Giant 3695. There we go. It's all over. Can we all wave at Cincinnati? Bye. Bye, Cincinnati. See you in six months. I'm not even kidding. Right. Um, so let's see how well we did. It was a pretty quiet one. It was a little bit busy at the beginning, but it did quieten down. Um, so in nearly two hours, we had 13 takeoffs, 18 landings right at the end of the schedule. We've actually gone through the whole schedule. It's taken us two weeks. Uh, but we have done it. We do have that one fatal error, that plane we just had to delete because it wasn't doing anything. So, yeah, that's a little bit sad. Um, but there we go. Tomorrow, new airport. Not sure what it will be. Might be Orlando if I get the code. If I don't get the code, it will either be London, uh, Gatwick, I think. Uh, I think it's Gatwick or Stansted. It's one of them or Brussels. We'll see. We'll just see what happens. Uh, but Orlando will take priority if we get the code. Because, you know, that's a fully fledged new airport with amazing graphics. And it looks very, very exciting. Um, so two adverts coming up. Thanks, everyone, for stopping by and spending your afternoon with me. Very, very grateful. Now, all you need to do is press that link and send me a billion pounds for my Swimathon uh, donation goal. And if um, that doesn't convince you, maybe the advert will. That's it from me. Have a good day. Good evening. Hello, everyone. In late April of this year, I'll be taking part in Swimathon 2024, and I need your help. Swimathon is an annual challenge where swimmers of all ages and abilities raise cash towards Cancer Research UK and Marie Curie, and at the same time, completing a swimming challenge. As someone who was traumatised by swimming as a child, I recently started swimming as a 40-year-old adult in January of this year. 
I have a medical condition called costochondritis, which not only affects my quality of life, but also affects my whole body. Coupled with arthritis and other musculoskeletal issues, this is definitely going to be a hard challenge for me to achieve. My challenge is simply to swim 100 meters unaided. This might not seem like a lot, but at the time of recording this video, I'm only halfway there and believe you me, it will take every ounce of my being to complete this. I'm looking to raise 100 pounds, and if you're watching this in a live stream, click the link in the top of the chat, or if you're watching it on social media, just click the link attached to this video. Every donation will help me not only contribute towards an amazing cause, but also give me motivation to complete this fantastic challenge. And get a medal. Thanks for helping, goodbye. Okay, hello everyone. Uh, bet you thought the stream was going to end there, didn't you? Well, you're wrong. Um, so very quickly, if you've enjoyed what you've seen today, please consider subscribing to me on Kofi. We have a bronze, silver and gold level of subscription and uh, every subscription really does help me uh, with my day-to-day -day living expenses and also it allows me to continue streaming for you guys every single day. Um, each level comes with a whole bunch uh, of perks so please check it out and uh, maybe, just maybe, I'll see you on Kofi very soon. Okay, see you in the next stream!